Hey everybody, RPG here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to add weed games to Bodicera. So we're going to jump into a step-by-step -step tutorial here to show you everything from downloading the original ROMs all the way through transferring it from your regular PC to your gaming PC with Bodicera on it. And I'll even show you guys how to scrape games so you can add videos, descriptions, box art, all that to your game collection. So before we get started here, I want to first start by saying like I do on every video where I talk about adding games, make sure that you have your BIOS files added into Bodicera prior to starting anything with adding different collections. So I will put a link in the description below to show you exactly how to get all your BIOS files added into Bodicera. It's a really simple process, but again, check the description below because I have a direct link in there to that video tutorial to show you exactly how you want to do that. Next thing I want to say before we get started here is you want to use a USB flash drive like this in order to move your ROMs to your Bodicera PC. And I do recommend using a Samsung uh, USB flash drive like this. This is 128 gigabytes and this is really great because it gives you a lot of storage space. So you can add a bunch of different ROMs at the same time and during this process we're going to be unzipping some zipped files and when we go through that process at one point you're going to have both your zipped and your unzipped files on there at one time. So you're definitely going to utilize a higher amount of storage space on your USB flash drive if you went with like a 32 gigabyte flash drive and you're using it for games like Wii PlayStation 2, Xbox, and some of these more advanced games, you're going to max out a space really quickly because a lot of these games are anywhere from one all the way up to five or six gigabytes. Um, so much more space is taken up with these games than on the older collection games like uh, NES, Super Nintendo, Genesis, all that good stuff. Um, and I definitely recommend going with Samsung over SanDisk because I've been using this particular 128 gigabyte um, flash drive here for about eight months. I've never had a single issue with it. With SanDisk, I typically, uh, prior to discovering this one here, I was going through about eight of them a year. So I'm definitely using them more than the average person. I'm moving ROMs and data from PC to PC a lot with these type of builds. So I definitely use it more than most people, but the SanDisk ones, they're uh, cheap plastic. They're just prone to corruptions and some of them just stop working for God knows what reason. So this one, comes in a um, metal shell, so it's really durable, really high quality, and I have nothing but the nicest things to say about this. So definitely stand by Samsung and their products. They are more expensive, but you definitely get what you pay for. So uh, if you're going to be using this to move a lot of ROMs and build a large collection, I definitely recommend putting the uh, money into something like this because you're going to definitely burn through some of those cheaper plastic sand disc ones much quicker. So. That's all I want to say about that. I just want to get that information out there for you guys. I'll actually put a link in the description below just so you can see exactly what I'm using here. Uh, and if you want to purchase it, go right ahead. Again, if you're just going to be using this for a couple uh, ROMs here and there, then the SanDisk ones will probably get you by. But these are definitely the more um, higher quality ones and definitely more reliable. So let's get started. All right, so to get started with this process here, I'm going to start by downloading a Wii ROM directly to the USB flash drive, which I've outlined in the uh, start of this video here, just to give you a clear understanding of exactly what I'm using and what I swear by uh, for moving data back and forth between uh, ROMs on a computer to the actual PC that is running Bodicera. So uh, we can use a bunch of different ROM websites out there to find ROMs. You can rip them yourselves if you already have the games, um, you know, the original games. So whatever you want to do there. But uh, if you're going out and looking for a ROM website, this is the one that I tend to gravitate towards. It's Vim with two M's dot net. I find it to be really reliable. A lot of these ROM sites, you have to be a little bit um, weary of. Some of them can be um, a good place to pick up malware and viruses, so definitely be careful out there. Um, this one I have found to be you know, 100% perfect and reliable. All the ROMs for the most part that I've come across are pretty spot on. I've never really encountered any major issues or anything like that, and certainly have never gotten any malware or viruses to my computer visiting this website on a regular basis. So um, I definitely recommend vim.net. Again, that's vim with two m's.net. Really cool thing about this site is if you go over to the vault here from their main page, you can see they have a whole bunch of different ROMs for all these different systems here, and they also have a section of just handheld. So we're doing Wii today, so we're gonna drop into Wii. 
And then I've actually put on my particular flash drive that I'm gonna be demoing this process on today, a whole bunch of different games. So I'm gonna go in and find a little bit more um, less popular game here. I actually have not played this game yet. It is the Mummy um, Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. So I'm just gonna search for that. MU should be down here, unless they have it under um, the, for the mummy, no, there it is right there. Mummy, the Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. This was the third movie in the Mummy franchise uh, with Brandon Fraser. Always loved this um, trilogy of movies, even this one, which was the least popular of the three. So I've never played this game. I actually just recently found out that it's on here and it's a smaller game. You can see here, 638 megabytes. A lot of Wii games are uh, multiple gigabytes. So this one should download pretty quickly. All we're gonna do here, there's actually two formats you can choose from here. Oh, three, I'm wrong. Um, I recommend just going with that um, nkit.iso and then just hitting download here. And you'll notice up here in the right corner, you can see that it's downloading. So it says right now uh, about 10 to 12 minutes. It's gonna kind of jump around as it downloads. So we're gonna skip ahead to when this fully downloads and is 100% complete. All right, as you can see here in the corner, the download is complete. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to access my file system here on this particular USB drive. So over here is my Samsung USB. So I'm going to click on that. And then somewhere in here, we'll find it. I have a whole bunch on here, as you can see. So here it is right here. I'm gonna just highlight it so you can see. So you can see that this is a zip file. So what we need to do is we need to extract it. So we're going to use 7-zip. That is a really great unzipping tool. So I'm going to just right click on this and here once you've downloaded 7-zip, you're able to just go and extract files. So I'm gonna hit extract files here. I'm gonna confirm that I wanna to extract to uh, my E drive, which is what this Samsung USB is registering as. So I'm just going to confirm it. And you can see here we have elapsed time and then remaining time. So it's gonna take about uh, three minutes or so to fully extract this file. So we'll let this do its thing and we'll come back here once this is complete. All right, so our file has fully downloaded here. That actually took only half the time that it said it was going to take. It took about a minute and a half or so. So you can see down here we have a folder which says the Mummy Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. So this is our unzipped file. So we can go up here to the zipped one, and I'm just going to delete that just to get rid of it so it's not confusing. So what I'm going to do here, and this is what I like to do, you could drop it in there just like that, but it takes up a little more space. So what I like to do just to keep everything neat and tidy when I'm dropping ROMs um, into my Botticera system here is, I wanna double click on this and you could see, this is all we need right here. This is the disk image file. So I'm just gonna pull this over to my flash drive that drops right in here so we can locate it here. Obviously I have a whole bunch, so it's gonna take me a second. Here it is right here. Just gonna to click to highlight it so you can see. So I have the disk image dropped in here so I can go back up here to this folder now and just delete that. I have nothing in there that I need. So we're just gonna confirm that. And these are just a bunch of other titles that I happen to be dropping in here. And they're all going to be disk image files except for this one right here, which is Super uh, Paper Mario which is a WBFS file. So that's just what they happen to have there. It really makes no difference. Like I said before, you can go with any of those different formats, but um, this particular one is just what I tend to use the most. So um, this was the last game I'm going to add here. And again, this is another reason that I use this Samsung 156 gigabyte flash drive. I can get a whole bunch of different ROMs on here at one time. If I just had a small SanDisk 32 gigabyte, for example, I would have much less that I could actually put on here in one time. So if I highlight all of these, just to show you, this is a total of 47.3 gigabytes. And the reason that you wanna have something that is more than this number here, because obviously I could get away with something a little bit smaller than what I have. But when I'm going in here and I'm dropping in all these files and then I'm unzipping them, and as you saw in the uh, previous steps there, I went in and started deleting stuff that I didn't need. At one point before you're deleting all those things, you have the full zipped file as well as the unzipped file in there. So this number right here, that 47.3 gigabytes, is once I've deleted everything. So 
during this process, if you're doing it the way that I do it, to keep everything nice and neat and tidy, you're going to exceed this amount of space on here during this process. Obviously, when you delete stuff and you uh, fine tune everything and just cut away all the stuff that you don't need, it does tidy it up and bring that number of gigabytes down. So that's all we need to do on the computer right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, eject this um, flash drive here. So I'm just gonna go right click and eject. You wanna make sure that you always do that the safe way. You don't wanna just rip it out of your computer. And I'm gonna switch over to my Botticera PC and I'm gonna show you exactly what we need to do from there. All right, so I just booted up my gaming PC with Botticera here, let everything fully boot up. And what I'm going to do now using a keyboard is I'm going to hit function F1. That's gonna bring me right into my file system here. So I'm using a portable keyboard as well as a mouse on here just so I can easily access everything. So I'm gonna take my Samsung 128 gigabytes um, USB flash drive, and I think I said that it was 156 gigabytes earlier in this video. Just picking up on that now, just to correct myself from the previous steps there, it's 128 gigabytes. So I uh, just wanna be 100% clear and upfront. I don't wanna you know, mistakenly um, you know, give you guys misinformation here. So I'm going to stick that 128 gigabyte Samsung USB flash drive into the gaming PC here, and it should populate right in here on the um, left column, and it does. So you can see that it's right here. If I click on that, I now have access to all those ROMs that I had loaded on the uh, PC. So I'm going to highlight all of these, and I'm going to right click on here, and I'm going to just hit copy. So now I'm gonna go up here in the uh, left column again. I'm gonna click on share, and I'm gonna jump into my ROMs folder. And now I need to access the particular folder that I'm looking for to drop all these ROMs into, and that's gonna be Wii. These are all Wii games. So once I'm in the Wii folder, all I have to do is right click and hit paste. So this is going to load in now. It's going to take a couple seconds for it to uh, read all the data and give me a um, accurate reading on how long this is gonna take. So here it says now it's just updated. Time remaining, it says about 10 minutes, 16 seconds. So that's gonna kind of fluctuate back and forth as all of these jump in there. So it's gonna go up and down. So we're gonna let it do its thing. We'll come back once it has been fully downloaded into this folder. All right, so our download has completed here. You can see in our ROMs folder for we we have all of these ROMs that we just dropped in here. So that is all we need to do here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the top left corner, we're gonna to go to file, and we're gonna hit close window. That's gonna bring us right back to our main screen here in Botticera. And what I recommend doing from here is we wanna go into our main menu. So if you have a gamepad controller, hit your start button. If you're using a keyboard, hit your space bar. This is gonna bring up your main menu here. We're gonna drop down to the second option, which is game settings. We're gonna select that. And we're gonna hit the first option here in game settings, which is update game lists. Because I'll jump back out just so you can see here. If we scroll through our different collections, we don't have Wii populating in yet. And the reason for this is it just hasn't been updated yet. So again, jump into your main menu, game settings, and we're going to select update game lists. This is going to ask us, um, really update games list question mark. We're going to just confirm yes. So it just updated that quick. Um, we're gonna drop down and now we should find we and we do. So I'm just going to jump in here. And while I have you here, I'm gonna show you guys how to scrape as well. So you can see here, all of our titles are listed here on the right hand side, but it doesn't look super polished. We don't have any logos, we don't have any descriptions, and we don't have any game previews here. So uh, the really cool thing about Botticera is you can incorporate all that stuff to just make the absolute coolest collection possible. So I'm gonna show you guys how to scrape. So there's a couple different ways to do it. You could do it right here in the actual collection, or you could jump back out and you could do it here from your main menu. And that's how I like to do it. So I'm gonna drop into main menu here. Again, start if you're on a gamepad controller spacebar if you're on a keyboard, and we're gonna drop down to scrape, and we're gonna select that. And then up here at the top, you'll notice I have screen scraper as my chosen uh, method of scraping. If we click here, we can see there's a couple different options. Screen scraper is what I prefer. Um, so we're gonna go down here, we wanna scrape videos too, just since 
I think that's the uh, nicest way to do it in all honesty. Uh, other than that, I think everything's good. Now, I do recommend going in and setting up an account with Screen Scraper. It's totally free. They do ask you for uh, donations if you're willing to do that. I think you get an amazing service for free there. So I always like to hand out um, you know, a little donation here and there. I do use this quite often myself. So, you know, send them a dollar, whatever you can afford if you don't mind doing so. Um, so I'm going to just enter in my username and my password here. And once I've entered in my username and password, we're going to drop down to scrape now. It's going to ask us if we want to filter this and um, only do missing medias, which is a good way to do it. I always just keep that um, like it is there. And then it also gives us the option of doing multiple systems, or if we select systems here, we can check off the ones that we don't want to scrape. So um, I actually don't have any missing other than the ones in Wii. So I'm going to leave it exactly as it is, drop down to start and select that. All right, so as you can see up here in the top right corner, everything is currently scraping. So you do want to make sure that you're connected to Wi-Fi before you do all this. I should have mentioned that before, but um, definitely want to make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi. Otherwise, nothing's going to actually scrape. So this should take only a couple of minutes. You can see as I'm talking right now, I'm already just about halfway through. So we're scraping 10 out of 25. And each of the titles populate in there. There's the mummy that we just downloaded for this demo here. So we're gonna let it do its thing. We'll come back here once it's fully downloaded. All right, so we're on to our last scrape here, 2525. And up at the top it says scraping finished, update games list to apply changes. So we're going to back out of the current scraper here and we're going to go up to game settings just like we did after we dropped these ROMs into our Wii folder to begin with. So we're going to select update game list, confirm it. All right, so as you can see here, I have Nintendo Wii's collection highlighted here in the main menu and it actually is showing a um, video demo there in the bottom left corner it looks like punch out so that's cool that everything seems to be working but let's jump into the actual collection and scroll through the games that we just added now i do want to mention that i do have my sound disabled just so you guys can hear me without the video sound drowning me out here so all of this would have sound from these videos so we're just going to kind of scroll through here make sure everything's good you can see on the right hand side we have everything populating in terms of the logos. Left here we have video, and depending on what theme you have on Botticera, you know, you might not have this exact look, but uh, everything does seem to have worked perfectly on here, which is really cool. And there's the mummy game that we loaded in this entire um, start to finish tutorial today. So good to see everything's good in there. Um, I definitely have to check out this game because like I said before, I haven't even checked this out yet. So, um, and then we have our Wii Sport. That is the uh, infamous Wii Sports. Um, this was actually the first Wii game that I ever played. So definitely some really cool titles here. Um, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial on how to add Wii games to Botticera. All right, so as you can see from this video, it's a really straightforward process here, but definitely can be a little bit um, confusing if you're going through there without a tutorial like this. So if you have any questions or anything like that, hit me up in the comment section below or reach out to me directly. I'm always happy to help any way that I possibly can. I'm gonna be doing a whole bunch of videos based around Botticera. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do the same process with all the different collections that are available on Botticera because while most of them are very similar, they do differ sometimes depending on what file types you're using and all of that. So I'm going to definitely do videos on each collection available with Botticera, uh, as well as some of the other tasks and uh, features and functions and all that associated with Botticera. So uh, you know the drill. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button for me here on the video. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel because like I said, we're going to be doing a whole bunch of different things based around Botticera. And we also do other tutorials, uh, gameplay demos, product reviews, a lot of great stuff on here. So hit the subscribe button. And of course, check us out online on our website, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.